government's looking at changing the emergency 111 service so that those in need can summon help by text and internet as well as phone. A review of the service was ordered after a technical fault prevented 30 emergency calls from getting through earlier this year. Emma Jolliffe reports. A matter of minutes can mean the difference between life and death in an emergency situation. So a government reviews exploring how people might use newer technologies like texting to get the help they need as quickly as possible. Some of the ones that are out there is voice over IP where we're moving to sort of digital telephones, the Skype and those sort of situations and that's going to become more prevalent in the future and also uh, the text messaging. The review was prompted by a telecom fault in Auckland earlier this year which meant 30 calls to 111 went unanswered. Communications Minister Stephen Joyce says it's time to look into the future. But the other issue is too, who should in the longer term uh, control the uh, access to the network and connect it all up with emergency services. A text 111 service was launched for the deaf community two months ago, but users have to be registered with the police for it to work. Deaf Aotearoa New Zealand says the service is very reassuring. It's been a high priority for a long time. So to finally have it set up and to be going well is just wonderful. And also, you know, remember that deaf people can't ring. Police say 500 hearing impaired people have registered with the service. Eight emergency texts have been received so far and the system is working well. But on the police website it says the service isn't available to the wider community because texts can't be prioritised by mobile networks, so there's a risk the message will be delayed. We also are aware that um, if there's no reply within two minutes, then um, you have to contact the service in another way. The Minister says one thing the review will do is to ensure any new technology chosen for 111 services can cope. Emma Jolliffe, 3 News.